Hey guys, Andrew here with uh, Naples Drone Solutions. Today I'm going to teach you how to flash your Android Wear watch with uh, 2.0. The over-the-air update for 2.0 is coming out, and uh, if you're like me, you don't want to wait for it to come out over the air because, uh, for example, my Huawei watch was supposed to release um, Friday, and I was supposed to get it, and today is Tuesday, and it hasn't yet hit my watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually flash it using uh, the bootloader, or I should actually say uh, debugging. And uh, so I'm going to walk you through this. We're going to use a couple of programs. We're going to use uh, Google Chrome uh, to find the download packet and to get the SDK platform tools. We're going to use Command Prompt, File Explorer, and we're going to use the interface on our watch. Um, so what we're going to do on our watch to start is we're going to go into our settings. Um, and if you don't have 2.0, this is just swiping from the side, hitting settings. We're going to go to about. And you're going to see a build number that you're going to tap until developer options come up. Now when developer options comes up, you're going to turn on. ADB debugging. You should be able to see. And that will allow you to see it, um, for your computer to see it at least, when we run our command prompt. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Android Studio and download our SDK tools platform. This is going to allow us to use the ADB. Um, you may also have to install a couple of USB drivers, but if you do any work, um, with anything Android, you likely already have them. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Reddit. We're going to grab the OTA URL. You can just get this by Googling Android Wear 2.04 uh, and then the name of your watch. It's pretty easy. So once we have all that, we've got that downloaded in our, in our file here. We're going to unzip it. Or no, you keep the, keep the OTA zipped you're going to unzip your platform tools. Then we're going to go into our platform tools until we're in the ADB section. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run our command prompt by hitting the Windows key and R. And we're going to hit command. This will bring us to a fresh, fresh set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit D. And that will change our directory to my D directory. That's just because I downloaded um, this in my D directory. If it's in your C directory, um, you can just go up a couple file paths until you get to root, or you may even be able to just copy and paste right into it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy where our platform tools are into here. Uh, oh, I forgot to hit CD, and then we're going to hit that, and it'll CD changes our directory to this right here so that we can be in this directory when we make the command ADB. Because what we're going to do is we're going to hit ADB, reboot, recovery. What this will do is this is going to reboot your device. And it'll take a minute for it to to log in, you're going to get a dead little Android. Because um, he's short circuited, but what you're going to do is you'll hold your power button and a screen will come up. Then you're going to scroll down to apply update from ADB. And then you're going to swipe to the left. You're going to plug it back into the USB cord, which should be plugged into your computer. You're going to wait for your computer to give you a little noise telling you, hey, I found your, your device. Then what we're going to do is, in the same ADB, we're going to hit ADB sideload. And then we're going to take our zip file that we didn't unzip, even though I accidentally said to, which is this. We're going to drag and drop it. Now notice there's a space there. So ADB space sideload space drag and drop your file. Then go ahead and hit enter. It 
it'll connect to your device and then it's going to update it with the software. This might take a bit, this current file zipped is uh, 300 megabytes and it took me about five minutes to download it uh, when I did it the first time. I haven't gotten to play around with the operating system yet, but it took me five minutes to download and then about another 10 minutes for all the uh, updates to apply to the apps. So we're at 23% here. This is what your screen looks like when it's applying the update. And uh, if you own a Huawei watch, you probably want to be really careful because if it disconnects, you'll have to start the whole process all over. It'll be really annoying. But this Huawei watch has been my favorite Android watch. I've owned about three so far. Um, I really enjoy the sapphire crystal display that it has because I work in construction and I have yet to scratch this and I don't have a glass screen protector. I love that the way they coat the uh, the black on there because that has yet to scratch as well. Um, there's a couple of small dings. You can tell it's been worn but uh, I've really beat the crap out of it so it's, it's really surprising to me that it isn't more worn than this. I think the battery life is, is absolutely excellent for, for an Android watch. And um, it's got standard lugs. The only difficult thing is that you have to uh, you have to make sure you get the 18 millimeter bar with a 20 millimeter strap. So you can kind of see the detail there how it is. I had to actually cut these straps to fit. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But other than that, I think it's fantastic. Oh, the other thing I didn't like about it is LG's uh, G Watch has a really, really good, um, really good system for vibrate. Um, whereas this vibrator is very, very, very weak. Um, it's hard to feel sometimes, especially if you work in mechanics or construction. You know, you might get a notification and not get it. Um, so no sooner did I say it than it happened. Uh, you mess around with it too much and it disconnects. However, I already have uh, 2.0 on here, so I'll, I'm just hitting reboot. Um, and I can show you kind of what to go through. It'll say that your device was flashed with the newest software. Um, and you'll be able to use 2.0. So if you have any questions, feel free to, to comment or message me. Um, like us on Facebook, Naples Drone Solutions. Uh, and let me know if you want to hear any other topics. Uh, thanks.